tis the season, so they say. The season for what? Selling season. Selling season is nothing without listings, and your business is nothing without inventory. So let's talk about getting some inventory and the lowest hanging fruit. And I'm really serious about this one. I want you to pay, pay, pay close attention because we're talking about staying in your lane and picking a pillar and crush and just crushing one thing. Today, we're going to talk about for sale by owners. If I wanted to grow my business and get more for sale by owners, let's talk about I can just by luck, find them and maybe convert them or by skill, find a way to connect. Right. So let's go through the reality today. Let's say there's a, a for sale by owner on 123 Any Street. Yep. I can drive by it. This is all just on my phone. I can hit the property appraiser's office. Mm -hmm. I can get there. What can I what can I learn from just that one website? You can get their address. Yep, I got obviously. the address. Their name. I got their name. I've got the cell phone number. It's on the sign right there. Yep. Now I've got his true name yep. and his address and his phone number. Correct. Right away. So that's pretty good intel right there. Mm -hmm. But now is that enough? So I could say, hey, it's Jeff Baggett, Central Atlanta, why don't you list your house? That's not what we say anyway, but that's kind of the way that rolls. So now let's go a little bit deeper as to what can we now do? What do we have at our fingertips to allow that connection to be a lot deeper? Well, you have platforms um, and, and not just Facebook and Instagram because you should and could look him up on, do a quick search, right? of zip code and last name and figure out who they are on Facebook. Um, obviously, if it's a very, if it's Kevin Johnson, it's going to be a little trickier probably than if it's a more unique name, but you can still find them, right? You can still find them it'll you it'll show time. you location. So you can find them on there, but even Zillow, right? Going to Zillow, looking up the address and taking a look at the property description and start to learn a little bit about them. Are they, you know, are they visual? Are they auditory? Are they kinesthetic? What, what are the words that they're using? For sale by owners are smart, right? The entrepreneurial spirit is smart. The average sales price nationwide is what, 280 something, whatever. So call it 300 for easy math. Commission 6%. 6% of 300,000 is 18 grand. You're stupid to not try to save 18 grand from the high conceptual level, it's smart, right? Go to Home Depot, spend the 15 bucks on the Sharpie and the sign, shove it in the ground, write your phone number on it, and see what happens for a week or two or three. If you don't have the urgency to move, you're, you're dumb not to try it, right? So get out of your brain that they're stupid because they're not. They're stupid not to try it, truly. Really, if you don't have motivation, you're dumb not to try it to see if you get that low hanging fruit, one guy who's driving around the block who might want your house, buy it, right? So. Reframe this for a second. So the for sale by owners you're going to are just going through a process of realization and exploration to figure out what's going on. Can I maybe do it myself? And the answer is, yep, maybe they can. So get out of the way. So the smart agents in this marketplace right now, rather than confronting for sale by owners and say, you're a moron, right? Say, that's smart, I would try it too. Doesn't make any sense not to. However, in the event, you realize that you're gonna need some help. I just wanna be one of the guys you interview. That's it. Perfect example. I still try to pretend that I know how to do shit around my house. I do not. I did not get that handyman gene. I can do it, but I hate it. And it ends up costing me way more money. It aggravates me, pisses me off. And then I call a professional to do whatever I should have done in the very beginning. But I need to go through that process every once in a while until one day I realize I'm just not even gonna try it anymore, right? So there's no difference between me trying to fix some plumbing fixture and me, somebody trying to sell their house, try it. Okay? So change your thinking guys, change your thinking on these for sale by owners and just go talk to them. If you wanted to build your business and focus on nothing but for sale by owners and stay in that lane, you're going to be able to crush it. If you took the time and spent five minutes doing a little bit of research on every one of these people and actually made the physical commitment to go connect with them. Go see them, knock on that door. Nothing's gonna take away face-to-face, belly-to-belly contact, guys. It's just not going to ever go away when you can have it. But when you get an advantage now, because when you do get a chance to connect, you've got something in common. You know how to describe yourself and your offering and your house and, and what you can actually do to connect with these guys. Ultimately, they're going to hire somebody, right? 98% of them, 96% of them actually list and they give up. Who are they gonna hire when that time comes? Now, this is the actual process that goes on inside their brain. 
the three questions you've heard us say a lot of times, can I trust you? Are you good at what you do? And do you actually care about me? Those are the three questions that they're subconsciously asking themselves about the whole field of people that have come across their mind when their decision process on who to hire. So it could be next weekend, could be three months from now, could be six months from now, they're gonna give up and they're going to blink. And during that blink, they're gonna have a little millisecond of time where they're gonna actually say, God, who do I like? Who do I trust? Who's good? And who actually cares about me? Perfect example. I'm I'm over at the beach, right, where I, where I live, and I'm gonna I'm getting a golf cart because I want one, right, just to cruise around on the beaches and have Sweet. some fun with it, right. And so one of the guys that I know sells golf carts, but the guy's like, hey, you want a golf cart? And this was a few months ago. I'm like, yeah. Um, well, do you want it one yet? And I had a lot of stuff going on. I said, no, not yet. I'll get one soon. I don't I don't have any time yet. And then so every couple weeks it'd be hey check out this golf cart. my like, dude i don't i'm not right my mind does not have space for the golf cart right now hit me after easter when the major rush of season slows down after next level university and i can actually breathe for a minute yep. right and then so he's smart enough to have done that and calendared that and reached out to me after easter and after next level and said hey man you still in the market for the golf cart? i'm like absolutely yes i was actually looking around last night right because i told him what I wanted and when, and he listened to me, and he documented yeah, that, and he followed up. If you pop out as top of mind for the person who didn't hound them, call them an idiot and a moron, confront them along the way, and they actually trust you and think that you're the best person to put the largest financial transaction or one of them in your hands, you win, right? That's it. That's the whole secret to for sale by owners is stop trying to be the magical, smooth selling salesperson extraordinaire and just you're gonna have a one line zinger that's going to make them say oh god where have you been all my life i need to just list with you rather than try to save 18 grand on my own get over yourself on that aspect guys be real help them along the way during their little journey through entrepreneurialism and see if it works out for them if it does great maybe they're relo into denver get a referral right maybe their neighbors are going to move and they're going to get a good favorable impression of you help them help them until they're ready to actually go do something that's the tactical takeaway for sale by owner is guide them through that cocky curve they're riding down until that millisecond of time when they actually decide who they're going to take so here's the issue do you have any that you're working right now truly do you have 20 of them in your pipeline because if you don't have 20 of them in your pipeline you're attached to the outcome of that one and you have no control over the outcome of that one because you don't control their life or their timing or their thoughts so if you don't have a lot of these working at one time, you're completely attached to the outcome and you're gonna get commission breath and you're gonna freak out and you're gonna fail. The last thing you want is commission breath when you're reaching out. But if you can now find a way to bring value to this individual, show that you're part of the tribe, reference some of the features of the house that they love and explain how you love them too, you're automatically now putting yourself on the same level playing field as them. Yep. And it it will work way more so than someone who just reaches out to them cold without doing any research whatsoever. So my commitment to you is to help you get real and raw on these. And your commitment to you needs to be, if you're not gonna commit to really becoming good at for sale by owners and help them through the process, then don't even start. If you're not gonna commit, don't even start. That's my true advice to you. Now, some of you are gonna say, Forget everything else. I'm just going to focus on that one lane and go talk to for sale by owners and get to know them, help them along the way through their little path. And then enough of them will hire me when the time comes that I'm going to have enough money to fund whatever lifestyle I want that puts a big ass smile on my face. And you're going to have a really simple, easy business with you doing one thing really, really well. So that's what I wanted to get out today on our drive into work. And think about it, guys. Focus, focus, focus. Help for sale by owners. If you're not going to commit, don't even start. Let me know what we can do. Hit me up with a message, comments, questions, anything we can do to help you as always. And go do it.